Hello everyone, this is Frank with Clean Carburetor. In this movie we're going to show on how to clean and on how to purge the carburetor for uh, Kawasaki larger engines, anything between uh, 11 horsepower and 19 horsepower. Um, this is a very common carburetor on the uh, riding lawnmowers and snow machines and um, bigger pressure washers and so on. Rather than taking the carburetor all apart when you have a carburetor problems, this time we're going to use Gun Buster. Gun Buster is a solvent made to dissolve the gum inside the carburetors. It comes with so-called purge valve. This is a small valve that allows the solvent to be injected inside the carburetor but without removing the carburetor from the machine or taking the entire carburetor apart. So how is that possible? Well, first of all, you're going to drain the fuel through the fuel drain on the bottom of the carb. Then you're going to take the solenoid off. This is the solenoid that closes the fuel supply to the jets when you turn off the ignition. If you press on it, it's a spring-loaded. It should be very soft. And by removing this and installing the clean carburetor purge valve in its place, we're going to get the access to the internals of the carburetors where all the jets are located. The main jet right here, the emulsion tube right there. On this dual split carburetor, dual barrel carburetor, you're going to have two of them. Two emulsion tubes feeding each one of the barrels. So once we push the fluid from the gum buster can under the pressure inside the carburetor, it's going to clean all the small passages and all the small jets, leaving carburetor like in a new condition. There are very small holes in here. If we take a look, if we take a look at, at this particular small hole in each one of the barrels, then we're going to see that these holes are for the idle system, fuel and air supply to the engine. As the engine opens up, as the as the trowel opens up farther, another three holes in each barrel are going to start showing up. This is the transition system where the main carburetor fuel system hasn't started working yet. So the demand for fuel, for higher amount of fuel, is there because there is more air as you open the trowel. So there is a need to supply additional fuel while you open the trowel. This is the transition, transition system function. <clears throat> so once we pressurize the carburetor with the gum buster, all the fluid is going to come on, out on these holes in here, and with that we're going to be sure we're going to we'll be sure that all all those passages are clean but well, the same thing on the other side are the air jets these parts here are the air jets that supply air to the emulsion tube that actually supplies the engine with the fuel when the main fuel system starts working and this is after you open the trowel let's say more than 20 30 percent So, it's very easy to connect the, the gum buster. It's the same thing as on your car tire. You just connect to the valve. 
And now you're gonna fill the carburetor with the gum buster until it starts dripping out. Once it starts dripping out, that means the carburetor is full of solvent and all the passages and all the jets are just nicely soaked into the solvent. Leave, leave the solvent in for about 15-20 minutes. Then remove the can. Can drain the remaining solvent from the from the drain port. And remove the purge valve and put it away. You're gonna need it at the end of the season. Don't lose it. Now you're gonna reinstall your solenoid valve you're going to connect it to the engine harness so once you turn on the ignition it will engage it it will open up the fuel passages inside and with that you will be able to start your engine let the engine run for I'll say 5-15 minutes until it starts running properly the ethanol and fuel actually is what we hate a lot, but true to be known is that ethanol is one of the best cleaners out there. The problem with the ethanol when we let it sit for so long, but every single carburetor cleaner actually contains ethanol because it's the natural best cleaner out there. So. The ethanol and fuel is going to further clean your jets and passages inside the carb with the engine running. That's the reason why you want to let it run after you restart the first time for about 15-20 minutes. At the end of the season, in order to not let the carburetor gum up again because of the long storage and ethanol attracting water, and plugging the, the jets, even if you use straight fuel, it doesn't help much. Is because the fuel dries out inside those very small holes inside the emulsion tube, even the main jet, because of the phenomena called capillary effect. As you drain the fuel out of the carb, the fuel is going to stay in those very, very small holes of the jets. That fuel dries out and that is actually what blocks the main fuel supply to the to the carburetor. An engine is unable to start because the mixture of air and fuel is not rich enough. So at the end of the season once again take the purge valve, you install it and now this time you're gonna use the purge gas. The purge gas, it's used, it's just a gas, it's not a solvent, it's not a fluid. This is a gas that actually connected to the carb and pressurized, pressurizes the inside of the carburetor, all the jet and passages, and it removes every single droplet of fuel. Otherwise, it's going to be stay inside those very small capillaries and enable the engine to start next season. Once you use the purge gas at the end of, of this season or before the storage, then you can ensure that your carburetor is left like a, in a brand new condition on the inside. With this, your engine is going to start for sure. So here we have, we have two products. One is uh, Gunbuster. If your engine doesn't start because of the carburetor problems and second is the purge gas the purge gas is going to remove as we said all the fuel from inside the carburetors leaving them like in a new condition thank you for watching i hope that this um, is going to help a lot keeping your small engines running happily uh, like us on YouTube, leave us a comment or questions, we, we try to answer every single one. Thank you again for watching.